Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to theme GNOME desktop and make it look better like this. But wait a second, only 4.3% of you guys subscribe to my channel, 95.7% of my viewers don't. Please, for the love of God, subscribe to my channel. I have big dreams with my channel. I can only achieve them with the help of you guys. Thank you so much in advance. So step one, you need to get Chrome. I don't know for what reason it does not work on Firefox and it works on Chrome. So you need to just go to the official page and just download Chrome. You know the drill. Finally, after the installation, just open Chrome. You need to install some required extensions in Chrome that I'm going to show you now. So just follow the steps and install the required extension and then you're good to go. After installing the extension, you need to go back to the page and then click on refresh. If you get this error, then you need to do some additional steps. Just follow them for the toggle button to show up. Now this will help us to get the blur effect. So if you don't want that, which is a bit resource intensive, and if you want to use your computer in a smooth manner, then you can leave this out. So I did a little mistake here by installing the normal theme instead of the transparent edition. But for users who are not going to install blur me, you might be needing this theme. So I have shown the installation in the later part of the video. After the installation of Blur Me, you just need to get some transparent themes if you want to use them with Blur. But if you don't want to use them with Blur, then you can just install some normal themes without any transparency. I will link some in the description from where you can just click and download. Now installing these themes are pretty easy. You just need to create a .themes folder in the home directory where you just need to extract all the themes by opening and copying them just like I'm doing here. Now after this you need to install a application for installing the themes that is GNOME Tweaks. Now you can open GNOME Tweaks in order to try the different themes that you have installed without Blur Me. You can also adjust or edit the dock as per your requirement.
For the icon pack, the installation is very much similar to the installation of Teams. From here, select the new icon pack installed. For new icon packs to appear, you need to restart GNOME Tweaks. This is the installation of the non-transparent theme. This is for people those who don't want blur. So you can just install by following the steps here. And after this I had to remove the installation or uninstall the themes. I've also shown that process after this installation part. One more thing, if you guys don't have Git, then you can install by entering this command.
after the installation you can go to the new theme in a similar manner like I have shown in the previous part of the video and that's it Now I am going to show you how to install the transparent version of this theme. So before that I am going to uninstall the non-transparent version of the material theme by entering this command. Now just turn on the extension that is blur me. Now you will be able to see this beautiful blur that is happening. But there is one problem. You can see there are some sudden jitters that are happening in the background. So how to remove that? You can reduce the amount of blur in order to remove that problem. Or if you can if you increase it to a great extent, then you will be you will be able to see that more such things are happening in the background, such flashes are happening. So just keep the blur amount low so that it works normally. And it looks kind of cool to keep that low blur there. That is basically the Windows 7 Aero blur effect that we are getting. But if you want the fluent blur, that is excessive blurring, you can just move the slider to make it excessively blurred. So that's it for this video do like share and subscribe this video if you find this useful and i think that this was quite useful for making your gnome desktop look much better than it was by default so that's it thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe come on man it us it is just a small button that you need to click but it will be a great great help for the channel thank you so much